Over the past 50 years, earthquakes have become the leading cause of death from natural disasters. Nowadays, scientists are predicting a number of disastrous earthquakes that are long overdue. These earthquakes could destroy major cities around the world. From Tokyo being hit by a huge disastrous earthquake to even California. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 upcoming earthquakes that could destroy cities. But before I dive in today's pretty creepy video, I have some exciting news. If you don't know already, I have my very own reaction channel. It is called Peach. Uh, if you didn't know, where have you been? Go on over to Peach and hit subscribe. Thank you, I appreciate it. And now we'll get on with this video. Starting off this countdown, we have the Great San Francisco Earthquake. In 1906, San Francisco was hit with a massive 7.9 magnitude earthquake. It has since garnered the title of the most powerful earthquake in Northern California history. If you thought that was bad, it may just be that another one is on its way. Researchers have found that within the next 30 years, there is a 72% chance that San Francisco will be hit with a 6.7 magnitude earthquake. There's also a 51% chance that the magnitude will be 7.0 and a 20% chance that it will be a magnitude 7.5 earthquake. Those are some pretty scary numbers. The damage it would do would be immense. Now, although I said it could happen within the next 30 years, scientists believe it will happen before 2032. In our ninth spot, we have the psychic prediction. Famous prophet and seer Nostradamus predicted that California will be hit with a massive earthquake that will greatly destroy it. We already know that California gets hit with several minor earthquakes a year, but Nostradamus was adamant that this next one was going to be big. When will this happen, you ask? Well, he said it will happen when Mercury is in Sagittarius and Saturn is fading. So looking at the yearly horoscope, people have pinpointed the exact date that this will happen, November 25th, 2021. This is when Mercury will reach Sagittarius, just like Nostradamus said. Of course, this is just a prediction though, but keep in mind, a number of his predictions have become true over the years. Let's just hope that this one won't. Moving on to number eight, we have Italy. Italy is located close to a major fault line where two tectonic plates meet making it pretty vulnerable to earthquakes. A recent report stated, and I quote, a series of overdue high magnitude earthquakes is expected to strike at any moment along some of Earth's major fault lines, Italy being one of them. Over the years, 6.2 and 6.3 magnitude earthquakes have taken the lives of hundreds and injured thousands in Italy. Imagine what an even more powerful earthquake could do there. Coming in at number seven, we have the massive Cascadia earthquake. It's believed that the next major Cascadia earthquake will occur sometime in the next 50 years. And scientists are predicting that this one will be bad. They are anticipating that thousands of people will die as a result. They are also worried that this will trigger the San Andreas fault line and cause another major earthquake in California as well. As a result, multiple places would suffer. As of now, the government is trying to prepare all they can in anticipation for this earthquake. In our sixth spot, we have Peru. Lima is another place overdue for a major earthquake. Studies have predicted how bad this earthquake will be for Peru, and it's not pretty. They are preparing for a magnitude 8.0 earthquake. This could lead to 50,000 deaths, 686,000 injuries, and 200,000 homes destroyed. More than two in five residents live in unstable buildings built on wetland areas, which makes them super susceptible to earthquakes. So it's not looking too good for them. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Washington State. According to recent studies, Washington State is overdue for a 9.7 magnitude earthquake. Yeah, you heard me. In fact, it is 200 years overdue, meaning it literally could strike at any minute. Scientists believe though that it will happen sometime within the next 50 years. It's also predicted that an earthquake this size will trigger an 100 foot tall tsunami. Now, there are several areas in Washington that are most at risk. The first is locations along the west coast that have elevations smaller than 100 feet. If the tsunami hits, these locations will be completely underwater. The next would be the majority of the western region. That's where the greatest damage will occur to like the buildings and such. 
The third spot is King County, which is the most populated county in that state, meaning millions living there will suffer, and it's quite scary. Moving on to number four, we have the Himalayan earthquake. This is another area that is considered overdue for an earthquake. The last big quake in the Himalayas was the 2015 earthquake of Nepal. It was a 7.8 magnitude quake that took the lives of nearly 9,000 and injured 22,000. Now it's said that an even bigger one is on its way to release the strains built up in the faults. When this does occur, Nepal, Bangladesh, and India will all be affected by it. In our third spot today, we have Tehran. Experts say that an upcoming earthquake could kill millions of people in Tehran. Tehran is another place overdue for an earthquake. So apparently the last massive earthquake was in 1830. Quakes with a magnitude of seven or higher are said to occur on average of every 158 years, but there hasn't been a huge one since meaning it's long overdue, and one is likely going to strike there soon. They estimate that 640,000 buildings will be ruined, 1.45 million residents will lose their lives, and 4.33 million will suffer from injuries. Those statistics are terrifying. Moving on to number two, we have X Day. It is believed that Tokyo will face a massive earthquake within the next 30 years. They call this day X Day. As a result, every day at 5 p.m., they test their natural disaster system by playing music from the system's speakers. This is all done in preparation for this disastrous earthquake. There is a 70% chance that this earthquake will strike before 2050, and it will be a magnitude 7 quake. Yet, researchers think it will be more close to 7.3. This could kill close to 10,000 people and injure around 150,000 more. 5.2 million people would be left stranded, and 300,000 buildings could be destroyed as a result. Now, Tokyo has a number of safety procedures put in place in anticipation for this day. And in our number one spot today, we have the big one. This is the name given to the next massive earthquake that will strike Southern California. I'm telling you, Nostradamus might have been right about this prediction, because now scientists are warning us of this as well. Now, California is prone to earthquakes because of the fact that they are on the San Andreas Fault. Over the years, series of small earthquakes have put more and more stress on this fault. So basically, they are now thinking a massive earthquake will strike in order to release this built-up pressure. This earthquake is believed to be at least a 7.8 magnitude earthquake giving it the name, the big one. This earthquake would be 44 times stronger than the Southern California earthquake in 1994. That resulted in 9,000 injuries and $25 billion worth of damage. So imagine what this bad boy would do. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Hopefully I didn't spook you that much. Now let's lighten the mood with some comment shout outs. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 terrifying hidden Disney Easter eggs, part two. Tammy Ranquist commented, I can't hold back anymore. How many of us get distracted by looking at the background and excitedly remember having some of those items? Just me? Well, I'm glad that you like my uh, wall because it took a lot to put up and like rearrange because I'm really picky. Uh, I think I'm happy with it now. I might switch a couple out, but I like them. Umair Farouk commented, do a cosplay, please. You can be a great Rapunzel with your beautiful hairs. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I mean, my, my uh, braid isn't that long. Um, maybe, I, maybe I could get like extensions or something. Please don't judge me, but I'm lesbian commented, look, I know it's 2021, but you specifically acted in Disney's so weird, I think. That was not me. I, uh, I wish it was me, but it wasn't. I think you're talking about like, that's so weird, that show. I remember the show. Who do you think I am? Maybe the girl from Sunny with a Chance? I don't know, man. It wasn't me, but I appreciate it. So thank you so much. Actually, I should say it's me. Yeah, it was me. I for sure acted in a Disney show. Just kidding. Disney, if you want to hire me? Actually, I think because these videos, I just ruined my shot with Disney. Anyways, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.